Okay, set driven keys in Blender. I've started with a default cube, uh, subdivided it a couple of times, and then extruded the uh, two faces here to get a mouth shape. So the next thing that we do is click down here under shapes. We've got add shape key. So we click on that and we get basis. Click add shape key again. And then in the edit mode, what we need to do is start tweaking some of these vertices for the new shape. Let's see if I can get that one. That's it. What we'll do is a little smile, I think, for a little cube man. So if I can get that, 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 and that. Okay, and then we tab again, and we go back to the, the our basis key when we go back to the object mode. If we right click, uh, sorry, if we need next thing to do is to add an empty, like so, pull it to the top of uh, above the the man. What we'll do is we'll we'll center it just to make it easy to see, and then we'll change it from arrows display to circle display, and. Then we'll, we'll rename the empty driver, and then split this area by right-clicking, split area. And then we need to go to the IPO curve editor, select the cube again, and then in the IPO type we go to shape, and that you can see we've got uh, key one here, which is the one we need to attach the driver to. We hit the N key, click on Add Driver, OB object, we need to type in Driver, Return, and Object and Location X are fine. Then we need a curve to um, tell it in which direction it needs to be traveling, so we hit the I key. And then under Curve here, we need to go to Extend Mode and Constant then curve again, interpolation linear, and you'll see if I select the, up here, if I select the, I'll get this a wee bit closer, if I select the driver, you can see that it control, it now controls through the x direction, it now controls the shape key of the mouth.